While the Spinosaurus has been a contender for the longest and largest theropod and carnivorous dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus rex is believed to have been one of the fiercest carnivores of all time, though scientists such as Frederick von Huhn in 1926 and Donald F. Glutt in 1982 did indeed list the Spinosaurus among the most massive theropods in surveys they conducted, the Tyrannosaurus rex would have certainly provided the Spinosaurus with plenty of competition. The Tyrannosaurus rex was a bipedal carnivore with a long, heavy tail that helped to balance its massive skull. While its forelimbs were shorter than its large and powerful hind limbs, the Tyrannosaurus possessed incredible strength despite its short limbs. Despite being able to grow larger than a Tyrannosaurus, it is likely that a fight with the infamous carnivorous dinosaur would not have been an easy battle for even a creature as big as the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus existed approximately 115 to 95 million years ago, living in the Albion to the Cinnamanian stages of the Cretaceous period. The first remains of the Spinosaurus were discovered in the early 20th century. In 1912, Richard Markgraf discovered a partial skeleton in the Baharia Formation of Western Egypt, but the creature would not receive a name until the German paleontologist Ernst Stromer assigned the specimen the name Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. The remains of the Spinosaurus have also been discovered in the Kem Kem beds in Morocco, meaning that they likely lived in what is now North Africa. Researchers aren't certain about the moving posture of the Spinosaurus, as while it was believed that they were a bipedal dinosaur, other studies suggest it may have walked on all fours every so often or all of the time. The Tyrannosaurus, on the other hand, lived around 85 million to 65 million years ago. This would mean the Tyrannosaurus was around during the late Cretaceous period and toward the end of the Mesozoic era. In 1874, teeth belonging to the Tyrannosaurus were discovered by Arthur Lakes near Golden, Colorado. The first partial skeleton of the Tyrannosaurus rex was found in 1900 by Barnum Brown, an assistant curator of the American Museum of Natural History. Brown discovered another partial skeleton of the Tyrannosaurus rex in the Hell Creek Formation in Montana in 1902 and his find uncovered 34 fossilized bones. The location of its remains implies the Tyrannosaurus lived in North America, and given the different time periods and locations, it never met the Spinosaurus. But analyzing their physical traits can allow us to estimate how a battle between them might have turned out. If we are to determine who would emerge victorious, it is important that we analyze their individual size and weight. As the largest known carnivorous dinosaur, studies of the Spinosaurus estimated that they had been able to grow as big as 45 to 60 feet in length, and paleontologists believe that they could weigh probably 9 to 11 tons. This means that the length of the Spinosaurus was larger than the Tyrannosaurus's, as the T. rex could grow up to 40 feet in length. The Tyrannosaurus weighed probably 7 to 8 tons, so in terms of weight, Spinosaurus had an advantage as well. The hunting and dieting habits of these creatures differed. The Spinosaurus survived primarily on fish such as coleocanths, sawfish, large lungfish, and sharks but it's likely that they did hunt herbivore dinosaurs and pterosaurs on land once in a while as well. It's thought that a climate change dried up the aquatic habitats before the Spinosaurus' extinction, which would have forced it to then hunt on land and maybe even engage in territorial fights with the Carchardontosaurus. So, in order to survive, the Spinosaurus probably had to battle a 40-foot-long carnivore something that may have provided it with the necessary experience to defeat a Tyrannosaurus.
The Spinosaurus also had six or seven needle-like teeth on each side of its upper jaw, and another twelve teeth were located behind those. Large, slanted teeth were also interlocked at the end of its snout, and a lack of serrated teeth means that the Spinosaurus would not have been able to tear into tough prey. When it comes to the Tyrannosaurus, we know it was a carnivorous dinosaur due to the placement of their teeth and their serrated edge and angle in its mouth. Its front teeth were designed for gripping and pulling, while the teeth located at the side of the jaw were built for puncturing. That means that this nightmarish lizard was able to chomp down on other dinosaurs like the Triceratops and the Edmontosaurus. And while scientists are still debating this, there's evidence to suggest Tyrannosaurus ate each other. Its lack of an impressive set of teeth would have left the Spinosaurus unable to pierce the body of the Tyrannosaurus, leaving them in danger of the Tyrannosaurus's merciless bite. When it came to speed, the Spinosaurus was probably able to reach speeds of 12 to 15 miles per hour, something that might have helped him chase down their prey. While dinosaur movies such as Jurassic Park have portrayed the Tyrannosaurus as being capable of running at 45 or 50 miles per hour, it was probably not really this fast. It is estimated that the Tyrannosaurus' speed was between 15 and 20 miles an hour, which means they weren't much faster than the Spinosaurus in terms of speed. It seems that these two creatures would be pretty evenly matched in speed during a fight so it's unlikely this would determine the outcome of the battle. When it comes to the force of their teeth, the Tyrannosaurus has the advantage over the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus had probably a bite force of around 20,000 to 30,000 newtons, which is something that would not be a very effective weapon against the Tyrannosaurus in a fight. The Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of approximately 60,000 newtons, and its blunt teeth were like serrated steak knives as they sunk into the flesh of its prey. This is four times more than the bite force of today's saltwater crocodiles, who have a bite force of approximately 15,000 newtons. The conical teeth of the Spinosaurus that were designed for catching fish would be unlikely to inflict deadly wounds after only one bite on the Tyrannosaurus. Pressure receptors in the cavity on the inside of the Spinosaurus's snout may have been able to detect the communication of foramina, helping them to detect unseen prey in the water. Its teeth made it easy to catch fish, and the hunting style of the Spinosaurus was rather tame compared to the feeding behavior of the Tyrannosaurus. With limited use of its forelimbs to capture its prey, the Tyrannosaurus would seize its prey and then kill with its powerful jaws. The bite of the Tyrannosaurus was resistant to torsional loads, meaning that it would have used the puncture and pull method to eliminate its prey. Compared to the ferocity of the Tyrannosaurus used against lesser creatures to assert its dominance, it is reasonable to infer the Spinosaurus's fighting style would lack the more ruthless nature of the Tyrannosaurus given the lesser prey it hunted and its smaller bite force. The Spinosaurus was not without its strengths, as it did have stronger arms than the Tyrannosaurus, but while its large claws might have been able to do some damage, it would take quite a few swipes to kill the Tyrannosaurus due to its muscular body. Weakening the Spinosaurus further would have been the eyes it had on the sides of its head that limited its vision. Its spine was also fused to its backbone, which means all the Tyrannosaurus would have to do to paralyze or kill the Spinosaurus was to slam into it. The Tyrannosaurus would have had many factors in its favor, as its superior bite force would make it easy to puncture the flesh of the Spinosaurus. Its excellent 3D vision allowed the Tyrannosaurus to see approximately six times better than a human, leaving the Spinosaurus with little chance of escape. But the Tyrannosaurus was not without its weaknesses either, as its size was smaller than the Spinosaurus, it weighed less than its opponent, and its arms were weaker and its claws smaller. It's difficult to determine the victor of a clash between these two, 
as they were pretty evenly matched. Since the Spinosaurus is believed to have weighed 9 to 11 tons, and the Tyrannosaurus probably weighed 7 to 8 tons, Spinosaurus had probably an advantage over Tyrannosaurus when it came to their mass. While the Tyrannosaurus was known for its strength and bite force to overwhelm its prey, the Spinosaurus hunted in a more restrained, elegant fashion. Spinosaurus may have been the more efficient hunter when it could hunt in two niches and use its energy sparingly with its fishing technique but it's questionable how much these characteristic would help in a one-on-one -on -one fight against T-Rex. By analyzing each of their strengths, it appears that a clash between the Spinosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus could go either way, with the identity of the winner remaining unclear since there is a lot of key information missing. Was Tyrannosaurus mostly a scavenger and it didn't fight that much? Or did it even hunt its own kind on a regular basis and was therefore prepared for fighting big dinosaurs? Also, did Spinosaurus only eat aquatic animals or big land animals very often as well? And was it used to fighting other big dinosaurs such as Carchardontosaurus? The answers to all of these key questions are unclear. Therefore, it's pretty much impossible to predict the outcome. But what do you think? Share your opinion through the survey in the info box. If these two dinosaurs clashed, it would certainly be a glorious display of the immense size of the Spinosaurus being pitted against the brutal teeth of the Tyrannosaurus. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment.